Most of us don't realize when we're walking on the beach that there's a whole diverse ecosystem just below our feet. If we dig just a couple of inches below the surface, we're going to find a whole bunch of these guys. And today we're going to talk about sand crabs. It's amazing what you can dig up when you start poking around in the sand. Now, common along the California coast are mole crabs, or sand crabs as they're commonly known. But mole crabs have a barrel shaped body. They have a tough armor or exoskeleton made of chitin, and they can hold their appendages close to their body, allowing it to roll around in the tidal currents and waves. Now, here you can see its flat like legs, its carpus shell and a feathery antenna used for filter feeding. From the classification of this species, we can see that our little crustaceans belong to one of the major groups or subphylum of arthropods. And these are one of the more evolutionary successful marine animals. The Emerita analoga species is the subject of our investigation. Now mole crabs are quite plentiful on many beaches from Alaska all the way down to Baja in the North Pacific although they're not everywhere all the time. When you do find them though, it's amazing how many can be found in a relatively small area. Now the curious thing about these little creatures is that they burrow backwards into the sand. Their five pairs of legs are designed to back paddle and dig into the loose particles of sand. They only burrow deep enough so that they can still leave their eye stalks protruding from the sandy surface and once a wave washes over them, they unroll their feathery antenna to capture tiny plankton from the receding wave. Mole crabs are often used for bait, and like many shellfish, they're fit for human consumption, if you cook them correctly. You have to be careful, though, because they can carry parasites or even toxins like DDT or domoic acid that is released by diatoms. Sand crabs may not live more than about two or three years, during this time, though, mating occurs mostly in spring and summer, and a female can produce as many as 45,000 eggs between February and October, and she'll carry them on her abdomen until they hatch, about 30 days later. Now, for two to four months, the larva will drift around as plankton, and the currents can carry them quite a long way. Okay, that's it for sand crabs. 